purpose of this video is to show off uh, Microsoft's Sway and just give you a bit of a preview of some of the capabilities. This is my Sway library and as you can see there's quite a lot of different Sways here and these are really different units and different resources I've used for different classes. Some of them I've used for meetings, um, it's got a lot of different uses but I'm going to keep the focus today very much around education. So I want to show you one of these Sways and just show you what the features look like so you can get a bit of a sense about how I use it with my students. So. Um, I'm going to look at this one here, which is uh, for my Year 12 English class, and this is a sway on the unit of creating texts. Now, something I discovered quite quickly when I first started using sway, I had this idea that I was going to do one for every lesson, uh, but then I realised you know I'd have a lot of separate sways. So instead, what I decided is that I would make one sway and I would just keep adding content to it. And as you can see, the way I break it up is I put a little a date tag here that just says what we did on that day. Now, the important thing to really keep in mind is that I did not do all of this um, in one go. Okay, I didn't sit down and kind of plan out my whole thing. I wish I was that organized, sadly I'm not. Uh, what I did though was often before each lesson, I would sit down and say to myself, now what do I want to get across today? And then I would put the content I want in front of me. Uh, the other thing that I did retrospectively is when I taught the lesson, I usually have my iPad with me. So I got in the habit of recording, doing an audio recording of my lessons. And you can see these here. I've just dragged on the audio file, the MP3, and it's set it up with its own player. So that was a really easy drag and drop, but it means that the students uh, can relive uh, the magic of my classes, as I'm sure you can imagine. And they, they can listen to everything I say. They can hear me explaining things in more detail. So I break it up so that usually about five minute audio files. But let me give you the tour. So uh, creating texts is actually a unit in U12 English where they have to create three separate assignments. Okay, they create a magazine article, they create a video blog, and they create a, uh, a writer statement that compares the two. So as I go down, you'll see me move and transition through those sections. So starting off, we were talking about conventions. What makes a magazine? What is it? Um, the, one of the first activities I did uh, was to make them look at magazine covers. So I put all of these images here, I just got these off the net, and I had them look at them and discuss them. Okay, here's the audio of the class discussion of that conversation. Okay, uh, then we looked at the inside, the layout, the text, the font, the conventions of that, and here's the audio discussion of the class thinking about that. So if you were away, you can catch it up. So now we're going to the next lesson. So you notice that the date comes up and the days for the student to follow. Um, I started getting them looking at more conventions. So here I've got a bit of information, but I started putting in uh, links to websites that would help. So before the lesson, I did a bit of uh, Googling and a bit of internet browsing, and I found uh, this website, which was about the features of a magazine. So with a click, they could get to a website I wanted, but it's all in that one place. And again, more audio files. Um, on my next lesson, I ran a, uh, a PowerPoint presentation where I talked to the class about features of, of language, and I've embedded that. So I made this in Microsoft PowerPoint, and I've embedded it in my Sway, and the students could click through it as I was going through, so they could look at the slides. They had this in front of them, um, but they can also go back and have a look at that information, and there's also an audio file of me talking through that, okay? So they can do that. Um, I did an activity where I put them into four groups, and I wanted to give each group a different piece of information in order to do the activity. So you notice, depending on your group number, you had a different link, and this link takes you to a Word document, which is part of our class SharePoint, um, which told them what they needed to do. So in that case, I put a link to a specific document. So it's not a website link, it's a document link. Um, you know, going through further, I gave them lots of questions and discussions uh, to think about, and uh, you know, often these were activities, or sometimes I'd say, look, there's more on the sway to promote your thinking about this. So again, it's somewhere that they can go if they're stuck. Um, lots of specialist terms being defined and explained there for them. Um, I interviewed a student um, who works in the industry, the magazine industry. So I dragged this uh, video. So this isn't a YouTube clip or anything. This was just a video I had sitting on my desktop and I dragged that MP4 straight on there and it just embedded itself into the sway. Okay, so that's a great feature. Um, 
In order to support my students with their assignments, I actually created my own version of their assignment. Uh, so in this case, what they had to do was they had to find a magazine, pick an article from it, and then uh, kind of emulate the language and the style and the design. So you can see this was the article I picked, and here was the result that I made. And that was a great resource for them as well, particularly being able to see them uh, in comparison to one another. Um, as I go further down, now we're up to the new assessment, which was video blogs. Now, my students didn't really know what a video blog was, or, or they weren't quite sure what the conventions were, so I went onto YouTube, and I found a whole bunch of them here. So these are links to separate YouTube videos, and I've just clustered them all together. So um, just from a glance, they might see what they're interested in and in being able to click it, and it also allows them to link it to YouTube if they want to see it on a bigger screen. Um, as I go down, similar to uh, before, I made my own example of a blog. Um, so again, I had a video file on my desktop as a result, and I just dragged it into Sway, and it uploaded itself. So that's a secure video uh, that's available. Um, you know, as I go down further, again, more audio files, more lessons, uh, more notes. Um, so hopefully you just get a bit of an idea that um, you know, as we're going down, there's a lot of content and I'm communicating with my students in a lot of different ways. Okay, Whenever I'm teaching, I have this up, so I'm scrolling down as I'm teaching. Um, you know, this was a table that I made in PowerPoint and, um, you know, and then transferred it across. So I've embedded a table into my piece. So again, just another way to communicate. Um, but as I was saying, I, I have this up and I just let, um, you know, so the students can browse through it as I'm speaking. But as well as that, I've set it up so it actually functions without me. Now, just another interesting feature is I've also embedded here, this is what's called a Microsoft Forms. So after looking at all of this stuff, this was to do with their writer's statement, um, we were talking about what is and is not relevant to put into your piece. So I made a quiz for them on Microsoft Forms and I've embedded that quiz into this way. So it goes through, they can, they can read these examples, they can do it, and it'll give them a point score once they submit it uh, to tell them um, how well their understanding is progressing. Okay. And as I go down further, again, look, more information, information about structure, um, language to use. Um, look, hopefully, if you've got anything from this, it's just the fact that there is a whole bunch of information that I've given my class. But the fact that I've been able to put it all together into one spot uh, really helps them because it means that they can see sequentially how I've covered the content, but it also really helps me to organize my thoughts and make sure that I'm giving uh, you know, really clear and directed resources to support their learning. Um, so hopefully seeing this action maybe gives you some ideas about some of the stuff that Sway can do and how you can use it in a classroom. And of course, there's a whole bunch of other videos available um, which can tell you in more detail how to use it.